going to show you guys how to remove the wires from a pigtail connector. Here's one that actually has the wires. It's this, you, you can see it still has the um, grommets or the rubber that blocks the excess holes that weren't used. And here's one that I removed. Uh, this harness is actually off a uh, 2013 Canward. What happened is this harness is good, as you can see. It plugs in right in there. But on the other side. This other side there is no pigtail it was broken off so now I gotta make one this headlight was actually made or at least part of it was made in Germany and uh, on the original pigtail which is on the Canward 2014 Kenworth uh, T660. On it, it's gonna say Packar. If you look at these ones, originally who made them was Germany. You can see if you look on this one, oh, got it upside down. It says on it Audi Volkswagen. So they just use from different companies the pigtail. Anyways, I got this off a 2000 and to Volkswagen Jetta it is the same the only difference is some of the wires are just a tiny bit thinner so I picked up a few of them you can see so what I did is I started taking them out and I'm going to show you how to remove or take out the wire from the pigtail what you need is a cotter pin. This is just a demonstration. This is actually not the one that I'm gonna use, but this is how this one looked right here. You can see this one's a lot smaller, but it's out of a cotter pin. What I did is I broke it in half. I straightened it with pliers. Then I went into the grind, grinder machine And you can see I grinded it so it can be flat. So one side is flat, the other side is flat too. The reason why I did that is because you want it to look almost like a blade. Uh, I can grab this. Okay, you can see how it's real sharp doesn't cut me you need two of these the reason why you need two of them I'm going to show you why what you want to do is grab one of the pens let me focus this right over there Grab the pin that you grind and you put it in there just like that. Then with pliers, grab onto it, onto your pin. You want to press it down. You can see this one's trying to go through. See that one already went through. What that did is actually push the locking pin and this one is equipped with two locking pins some have one and some have two and this one has two locking pins so what you do is same thing for the second one oops actually slid onto the pliers needle nose
if they don't wanna if they do not want to slide in you want to flip it around and try it if you see this one did go in okay and then you grab onto the wire and you pull out sometimes it might not want to come out sometimes it does you might have to help it okay this one does not want to come out I've had this problem before, it's just because it's too jammed in there. So what you want to do, you want to help it just a little bit. Try it again. Nothing. You see my hand shaking, trying to pull on it. These are plugged in, uh, pushed in. You can see. It's in there. Let's try it again. Make sure it's the right one. This wire. Okay, that one came out. So I guess to make it easier, you have to kind of pull these pins a little bit in and out, just a little bit, but not too much. Otherwise, the the pin in the wire, which is let me show you right here. You see the pin is right there. There's the pin. There's one there and one here. If you pull it too far out, this will get this will lock back in. Well. Let's see if I can zoom in. Then. Show you how it looks inside. You can see. Let me point with this. On this side and this side the other side that's where the pins are that's what makes a lock to put these back on let's see if you got a broken one or you want to change them around like I said here you see how it's, it's got rubber right here the rubber comes out all you have to do is put this in here like this sometimes you might want to use uh, I actually don't have it here let me see if I can open up the scatter pin if I open up the scatter pin I may be able to squeeze this through and it's too big it doesn't fit what I was going to do is push this through. Well, actually, it might fit. And push the rubber out. Oops. So there is the rubber. Do the same thing to the second one. In, the cutter pin and push the oop that one actually flew a few feet so you might want to flew right into the spiral web <laughs> you can see it's got the spider web with got some big spiders around here uh, it, uh, it was actually holding it in the spider web anyways Yeah, so now that we got that out, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna use this one, so I'm not gonna put it in this one because I'm not sure where it goes. But to put this back in, what you do, you wanna make sure that it goes on. So if you look at it, you can't put it like this. You can't put it like this, it has to be like this from behind. So if it goes on like this, turn this this in here oops I turned it make sure you don't turn it and I'm gonna push these through and these sometimes can be tricky to push through and of course the rubber doesn't come off so I might have to use a needle to push it through 
if that's even possible. Okay, that one you can see it went through just by hand. So that's it's a good sign that you can actually put them in by hand. Sometimes they're a little bit harder, you just have to help it. If you don't want to use something too sharp, you could probably get away with this because it's not that sharp. You can put it in there like that and press down with at the same time the wire and the pin. This way it goes through. Okay, that's true. Don't want to make this video too long, but I'll show you guys how to take it back out again. Uh, okay, so let's grab the pin. Let's see if you can do this in one shot. I took four of them in one shot, and then I had a problem with the fifth one and sixth one. So we're gonna put this in there. Another thing I forgot to mention, you see this one actually went in very, very easy. And that's locked. Or I should say that's through the pin. Put this one. Okay, that one does not want to go by hand. I'm going to use a needle nose. Push that through. See the pin is through, so it's halfway. And then I'm just going to grab it and pull on it. Don't be afraid, they're pretty tough. They don't break that easy. And that came out. Now, this is what I should have mentioned. Before you put this back in, if you gotta remove it and put it back in a different slot or a different pigtail, what you wanna do is, I don't have a razor blade right now here, but with a razor blade, you put it right in here, right there. Let's see if I can zoom in to give you guys better Right here. See that clip? And that clip has to be pulled out a little bit. Just a tiny bit. This one's equipped with two, so you gotta do on the other side too. Same thing. Put a blade, the part that cuts, you put it in here, put it in, and you pry it out. You can use a pick too. You see how that spread it out right here? spread out and this one isn't you want to make sure these are spread out the reason why is that when you if you don't do that and you put the you plug in the connector into the other connector it will actually push this out from the pigtail so in other words as you plug this in here it's gonna push this out if you do see one with the rubber out like this that's not good you have to take Pull this back out. These to take out, a lot of people have asked, how do you take these out? They are a little bit, they're not tricky, but it's a different design than other pigtail. What you need, of course I don't have one, you need a flat screwdriver. Put this right in there, just like that. Put the screwdriver in there. And what you wanna do is you wanna pry, pry, pry down, okay, down. When you pry down, you can see it actually opens. It, this actually goes up when you pry down. When this goes up, it releases from the other pigtail. 